So now that we have the bulk of the cabling and the wiring and all that stuff connected up out and, and out of the way, we're going to go ahead and, and finish installing the rest of the components, which would be the audio cards, the memory, the TV tuner card, the CPU, and the heatsink. Um, now while we're talking about the audio, one of the things again that makes this Maui platform or the MSI Media Live Diva platform unique is the fact that it uh, has a very unique audio and video properties. And one of those things is the D2 chip down on the motherboard does all the digital signal processing for the audio and then it passes it over to this particular card right here which is a 100 watt 5 channel amplifier card. Now that just plugs into a simple slot right here, but what that does is allows you to drive your speakers directly to this particular card. So if you're using traditional home theater, home stereo speakers, things like big giant tower speakers that sit next to your TV and, and AVR, not your traditional PC speakers, but again, honest to goodness, home theater, home stereo speakers, you're driving them directly with this amplifier card. Again, this is five channels, so you can hook up your front, left, right, and your center channels along with your rear surrounds and drive those directly from this particular amplifier card. And what's uh, really nice about this is that it provides very, very high quality performance. Your signal to noise ratio is 105 dB or higher. Your total harmonic distortion is 0.1% or lower. So you're getting very AVR type class audio. So it's a very, very clean audio solution coming out of your home theater PC. Now, that's great if you don't have an amplifier, but if you've already got a nice amplifier at home and you want to be able to take advantage of this platform, MSI also produces a 7.1 line level card or pre-amplifier card that allows you to connect up this solution directly to your AVR and still get very, very high performance audio. Signal noise ratio on that particular preamp card is 112 dB or higher. Total harmonic distortion is 0.01% or lower. So it's, a, it's very, very clean audio in a very, very small package. So now with the audio card in place, the amplifier card in place, I'm going to connect up a power connector to it. This is just a standard Molex power connector. And I can use any single one of these uh, connectors will be just fine. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and drop that into place. That just plugs in like that. I'll go ahead and clean up the rest of those wires later.